Most great things start over a drink. And probably Center College started in the tavern. In Mrs. Davenport's tavern, which was downtown Danville, on the third floor, there was a meeting. This was after the charter was granted by the state legislature. There was a meeting of about a dozen people, the likes of whom were Isaac Shelby, Dr. Ephraim McDowell, the surgeon, and they formed Center College in that tavern in uh, February, I believe, of 1819. It was a small band of people that decided there needed to be a college in the center of the state and thus our name. O old center, where I have the privilege of having my office, is a magical place for me. You ask any center alum, any longtime faculty member here, what's the face of Center College? It's got to be Old Center. People who know Center College, people who have attended Center College, when they see that image, they know exactly what it is. It represents Center College. There's never a time I don't go through the front door that I don't stop for a moment, or more often come out the front door and, and realize uh, Old Center is hallowed ground. Living in KCW was like living in one great, huge sorority house. Uh, we said in the catalog that they were coordinated but not coeducational, and that was treated as a virtue. That would be good for both, but particularly for women, to not actually be in the same place as men. The dining hall was in East Hall, and behind that there was a, a separate building, which was the old gym building, and that's where we had a, a swimming pool and the bowling alley or a tin pin alley down in the basement. And there was a little gym there as well. One of the things that's been unearthed as part of Center College's preparations for Bicentennial is what must be the earliest uh, known movie footage of Center College campus and students. We think we now know who some of these people actually were. The film itself is nearly a hundred years old. So that, that truly is uh, an astonishing find because it's footage we're not like to see again. The C6HO is uh, it's, it's just one football game way back before the NCAA and it may have caused the NCAA by the way. Uh, and, and yet it's a model. It, it's a model that we can do anything. To me, it's never been about the game. It is a way in which Center College defines itself as being a place that kind of hits above its weight, a, a place where remarkable things occur. But more importantly, it sends a signal to students that I think is much more powerful and important, which is anything is possible. Study abroad at Center has, has become a defining element of the undergraduate experience. It just broadens their horizons. It gives them a view of what's possible in a way that reading a book or listening to a lecture just doesn't do. It's experiential learning of the most intense and, and uh, energizing sense. We've got to prepare young people who can cross over culture, cross over language, cross over religion, cross over race, and be comfortable to be a citizen leader in whatever country they might find themselves on that particular morning. I have friends around the world, uh, many of whom know that I went to center. And when you know the debate was going on, I would get calls or texts. Like, hey, you know this is happening on your campus? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do know. And to talk to other people about, wow, like I attended an institution that was able to host two vice presidential debates in the span of, of, of 12 years. Um, I felt definitely felt very proud. I was struck by how polished a performance it was. And other, from the college's perspective, it was almost seamless. It was remarkable how well-coordinated people being moved into Newland Hall for the actual debate, the surrounding community, the security 
was very much in place, but on the other hand, it did not appear to be horribly intrusive to those who were not going to be on the inside of the gates, as it were. Last fall, we went up and played University of Kentucky, one of the premier basketball programs in America. The, the reason those things matter, it's really not about athletics at all for me, is I, I like it when our students, uh, whether historically or now current, have a chance to compete at a high level. To play in, in Rupp Arena against Kentucky Wildcats, I mean, that, that's different than any experience we've ever had. So, hey, we want to come in here. We want to have the time of our life. We want to represent Center College in the way that it deserves. And uh, at the same time, we're going to play with a smile on our face. I, I thought it was fun. Um, I, I don't know how much notoriety uh, it gave us or how much attention it attracted, but I did think it was enormous fun. This is just outright hustling. How about the between the legs pass and a finish down low for Jacob Spitzer. When I came to center, uh, I didn't know at the time that I was the only black male on campus and um, also didn't know that there was just two uh, African-American females who were enrolling at the same time. I didn't realize we were the first ones who were enrolling. The atmosphere at center was um, pretty diverse. There was a, a very different um, uh, environment, if you will, depending on who you were interacting with. In terms of how diversity benefits the campus, it's critical. If we want to offer an education that empowers students to be leaders, we've got to teach them how to bridge across differences in background, ethnically and racially, but also socioeconomically. Institutional culture is a really hard thing to change. Posse has changed the culture of Center College. Very gratifying to see how a posse group actually works, the way that they, they bond with each other, the way they have each other's backs on things. Yeah, I think the legacy that we left has really bridged this gap between our current students of color and our, and our alum. I can tell you as a faculty member who came here in 1987, the classrooms, the library, all of the facilities are just so much better than they used to be, and I thought they were pretty good when I got here. Center College has been able to remain, even as we've grown, exceedingly personal, almost at the level of being intimate. But we support each other, uh, we're generous and kind with each other, uh, everybody matters. And I hope that 10 years, 20 years, 50 years from now, Center College will be distinctive in the ways that I've described, but hasn't particularly lost that sense of what it is to be a place where people matter, everybody matters.